Okay, continuing our series with Python 3. Again, I'm putting out a new video every Wednesday, so if you're watching these as I put them out, you can expect next videos next for next ah, expect the next video next Wednesday. There should be an annotation on the screen for the full playlist. Uh, I recommend watching the previous videos before starting this one. Um, and uh, of course, if you're watching this in the future, you know, you can watch them all at once. You don't have to wait till next week. Anyway, last week we were, last two weeks we were working with while loops. Well, today we're going to start with if then statements, uh, which are very important. Uh, in fact, I probably use them more than I use while loops. I don't know. We're probably about the same. Um, but you really can't have a real program without an if then statement somewhere in it uh, because uh, otherwise it's just running through doing something it's not checking is this true or that true and that's what if then statements do and unlike a while loop that does check if something is true or not a while loop will continue doing it until the value is what it's supposed to be or not supposed to be an if then statement basically does it once and then continues on with what's after it. So here I am and I'm in the interpreter for Python 3 and I am going to create a variable I'll call it x and I'll say x is 5. So now we have an integer. x is an integer. It's equal to the value 5. It's the number 5. So now I can say if x is less than 8 we're going to do something. And again, it knows where the statement begins and ends based on uh, tabs or indentations, I should say. In fact, uh, tabs can throw things off. So in actual editors, it's recommended you either use the space bar or you set the tab value in your editor to be a certain number of spaces. Anyway, right now we're going to say print and we're checking is x less than 5 and we'll say it's less. I'm sorry, is x less than 8 and x is 5. So when I hit enter here and I hit enter again to run this if then statement, it says it's less because 5 is less than 8. But if we were to do this again and I was to say uh, if x is less than 3 and I'll give it that same print statement and run it again, it does not print out it's less because 5 is greater than 3. So now we're going to go to the get to the else part of the if then statement. So basically if then else. We're going to say again if x is less than 3 we're going to print just like before it's less and then we're going to say else and we're going to say oops sorry there's supposed to be a colon after else so we'll do this again hitting up arrow again to go through my previous commands and I'll say else colon tab in there and I'll say uh, print nope comma it's more okay so let's look at this before I run it we're saying check and if X which right now is 5 so basically put a 5 there if 5 is less than 3 say it's less else so if it's anything other than what we're saying up here we're going to put nope it's more which should because 5 is more than 3 nope it's more uh, so that's a basic if then uh, else statement you can also have uh, a uh, if uh, else if and else statement so again x is 5 so I can say if x is less than 3 we're going to say print it's less and we can then also say instead of else we can say elif and give it another statement and we can say x is equal to 5 colon and we can say print uh, x is 5 and then we can give it an else saying if it's anything else then we're going to print and again I forgot the colon after else so we'll say just go through it all again it's less else if it's 5 and really that should be a lowercase x and not that's going to mess up our program but x is x and capital X is something else um, and then we're going to say else colon enter print nope inside quotations nope it's more 
So let's look over this before we run it. So what we're saying here is check is x less than 3. If it is less than 3, then print it's less. Now, if x actually equals 5, and this is equals equals, the reason for this in most programming languages, uh, well, I don't know if I should say most, but many programming languages has equal equal to set the value, because if you just did, um, well, I say we're not setting the value here. We're checking the value, because if you were to put just 1, then you would be setting the value. So we're actually checking the value of x. Is it 5? That's why we do equal equal. So if x is equal to 5, then we're going to print x is 5. And then we're going to say, if anything else, which the only other option is that it's more, we're going to print it's more. And if I hit enter, enter, and it says x is 5, because x does equal 5. Now, this was our first little look at if then statements. We went through if, we went through if else, and we went through if, else if, and else. And you can have multiple of these if else. You can have it check each number. You know, you can have it check, you know, if x equals 4, then do this. If x equals 5, then do this. If x equals this, then do this, and then that, and that, and that. Um, so note that you can have multiple of the L ifs within an if statement. So this was just our first look. Next week, we're going to look a little bit more into this. We're going to play around with some number values uh, as well as some other things. Uh, and uh, that's it for this tutorial. Again, this is part of a playlist, a series that's ongoing. Every Wednesday, I'm producing a new Python 3 video. Be sure to check out my Monday and Friday videos as well on other topics. But there should be an annotation on the screen to the full playlist. I thank you for watching. Please visit my site, filmsbychris.com. Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. And have a great day.